Look at the nail. I want you to have a look. Look at the nail. You see, it's a look and diagnose, and that's why I want you to have a look. What do you see? Thickening and bleeding. You see the yes, thickening, blackening. Did you see that? Yes. Deep crack, isn't it? Did you see the deep crack? It's almost like his bone is visible. You're with me? You know. This also we want you to develop. Looking at it, what you see, you see the blackening, you see the crack. There's some degree of blood, I think, right? Pathache. I'm asking if there's any pain. He said it's not much. You see, the nail is almost broken into two halves. This is typical, typical of X-ray, right? I've shared this with you, but you haven't seen a case probably. This is like the deep, deep crack. Very, very deep. It's almost, if you had a look, if you had a picture, it's almost divided into two. You know, it's that kind of deep cracks. He's age 53. He came to us in 2018, March. We had initially started the treatment with graphitis. <coughs> Considering the blackening of the nail, there was some sticky oozing from that. You know, graphitis has a sticky honey-like discharge. There was some sticky oozing from that. And the nails were very, very brittle. They, all the nails used to break very easily. So there was not much other symptoms other than the nail symptoms. So it started in March with graphitis 200C, considering these symptoms. But graphitis didn't help that much. We had gone up to graphitis 200, then 1M, but there was hardly any change. And you can understand if there is inability to walk with this kind of a nail. So he, he was in quite a lot of suffering at that point of time. We changed in August to X-ray. 200C was prescribed only once in August. This 200C. 200C was prescribed in August. He's saying it was absolutely gone. It has come back last two weeks. Thankfully, so that you can have a look. He's, he did, he's saying he did some farming which was involved uh, water. Worked for three days, probably due to that. But, you know, if you look and diagnose these kind of nails, Graphitis is obviously one of the remedies which will come up. X-ray specifically because if you see that amount of deep cracks, then that is a typical, typical feature of X-ray. And if I would have had got pus with this kind of a nail, I hope everyone had a look at the nail. If you had a pus with this kind of nail, we will prescribe gunpowder. Gunpowder. So I want you to take this in your clinical tips for blackening, please. If you have blackening of the skin, with a sticky watery discharge, you are with me? Blackening of the skin with cracks and sticky watery discharge, it's graphitis. If you have blackening of the skin with pus, then it's gunpowder. You understand all the, all the two medicines I'm talking about, they have got the black appearance, the doctrine of signature. Graphitis is prepared from black lead, so the color is black. Gunpowder, you know, the color is black. So blackening is in their innate nature. And thirdly, if you have blackening with any circulatory disorders, say you have a varicose veins, or if you have any circulatory abnormalities, along that we have blackening, we have carboanimalis. Carboanimalis. You are with me? That's also black, animal charcoal. Carboanimalis. Any circulatory disorders like varicose veins, Burgess disease. You're with me? So blackening with cracks and sticky honey-like discharge, you have that in graphitis. Blackening with pus formation, suppuration, you have that in gunpowder. Gunpowder is not there in the main section, Borike. You'll find it in the relationship of some remedy. And thirdly is carboanimalis, animal charcoal, where you have blackening with any circulatory disorders. So you have varicose and you know sometimes what happens there's blackening, dis discoloration in their, those areas. Carboanimalis can work well. 
right? We prescribed in 200 C in August. We have boosted. August was about five, four, five months earlier. So we have boosted after that since. Patha nahi ekdom. Oh, lagban. Dekhi ek bar pan nokte. Blood as she. Blood nahi. He's saying there's not much blood, but it looks a little bit red. If you had a look. I'm repeating 200 C again today. An X-ray, make sure if you have given 200 C, at least go up to 1 M and then change the remedy. If you have had good results with X-ray. Yeah, that's, I was going to say that. We're going to give him Echinacea to apply locally. Echinacea as an ointment or in tincture to apply and cleanse that area. Echinacea. E Echinacea. E C H I N E C A E. Echinacea or Echinacea to apply locally. Yes, correct. You are going to dilute it. Because there is cracks, there is some visibility of the internal skin. So there is discontinuity in the skin. So that's why we are going to dilute it. You are with me? X ray 200C was prescribed in August. We had boosted after that. I am repeating 200C again today. And because he had worked with water and there was farming, so there could be some infection due to that. I am giving Echinacea to apply locally. So 10 drops in a cup of water and you soak that in a cotton wool and you apply on that area. 10 drops in a cup of water, you soak it in a cotton wool and you apply on that area. Because there is not much blood here. It was more like an infection and there is some itching here as well. So that way. Arnica would be more uh, preferable if there was any bleeding or any hemorrhage coming out from that area. The question was, why not Arnica? I said Arnica would have been suitable if there was some blood coming out from that area. Why not Calendula here? Anyone? Why not Calendula to apply? It's open and I would expect a little bit of pus with Calendula. It's more a suppurative remedy. Whereas Echinacea is more like an infection which could have been due to the exposure to the water. So in that way, Echinacea is much more favorable. X-ray 200C, we are repeating today. If there is no change with the first prescription, I generally try another potency before changing the remedy. So, you know, if there is no change with the first medicine or with the first potency, maybe that frequency doesn't suit him. So, you generally go higher up or go lower down before thinking of changing the remedy. You'll see, I'm sure you have seen in the last week and a half that we haven't changed the remedy from the first follow-up. Because that's one thing I have learned. That if you, are, if you have not got even 1% change, Try another potency before changing the remedy. You may lose 20% patients from that, but you'll gain 80% from that. Because at least sometimes what happens, like you saw with the Asterius 200, there was no change, there was pain was aggravated. Common sense will tell me, medicine not working, change the remedy, right? But I thought of, let me try another potency, and you saw 30C helped with her in the case. So the dictum of the thumb is try another potency before think of, of changing the remedy. If you have got even 1% or even no change in the